on the ground. Get on the ground. Stand behind your back. Stand behind your back. A burglary suspect takes police on a high-speed foot chase through an Atlanta grocery store. Faster than you look, though. I couldn't keep up with you, dog. I'm sorry. The chase took place in Atlanta, Georgia on June 2nd after officers were called out to a local shopping center in response to a burglary. Body cam video captures an officer responding to the scene as a store employee explains someone stole nearly $300 from the register. Okay, hold on, they're talking to me right now, so I'm gonna, I'll call you back. Okay. Hey, no man. Hi, I'm good. So $279, so um, we said it's the only thing that's missing, correct? Yeah, that's the only thing. Usually when I come in, the alarm beeps, so right. beep, 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 and there's a the time limit, that. you know, that we have, but it doesn't so that it beeps. I got you. Let me uh, take a picture of this real quick. The officer got a glimpse of the suspect from the surveillance video, which showed a black man wearing a distinctive basketball sweatshirt. A short while later, a man wearing the exact same outfit and matching the suspect's description appears downstairs while the officer canvasses the shopping center, holding a lot of cash in his hand. Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Good. My name's Investigator Stoddard. I'm in the Atlanta Police Department, mm -hmm. uh, Special Victims Unit. Yeah. Um, have you got any identification on you? Like what? Huh? Like what? Do you have any identification on you, sir? Okay, I see you have a lot of cash in your hand. Where'd you get all that money from? No, this is one of my friends who uh, lives up at the street up there. Lives up the street up there? Yeah. Okay. We Can you do me a favor? Can you take your, uh, your hoodie off for me? Mm -hmm. Take your hoodie off for me, please. Is that your identification? Can you lift it up? Okay, take it, take it off on me. While the suspect initially follows the officer's commands, he then decides to make a run for it. Okay, turn around. Oh! Five trading on extra. I got one running. A uh, twenty hundred piece of road. Black male, black shirt, yellow pants, yellow shorts. Please stop. Wait. Stop, police. He's running to the back of the building. Radio. Right in the back of the building. I was running up to Publix. I'll be just on the left of Publix. Police, stop! I was running in front of the Publix. He's running inside the Publix. Is he inside of the Publix? Where'd he go? Black milk, black shirt, where'd he go? We're inside the Publix. Negative, we're looking for him. Another officer then arrives on scene to help track down the fleeing suspect. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Yeah, I got it. Nice. What's up, man? Thanks. Get up. Get up. You need to run like that for me, man. Uh, 
They need to run like that from me. The fast running suspect was identified as 22 year old Benny Brathwaite. After the brief chase, Brathwaite offers a simple explanation as to why he took off. Uh, you're faster than you look, Benny. I couldn't keep up with you, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I don't do police, though. You don't do police? Right, Brathwaite was taken to jail and charged with second degree burglary and misdemeanor willful obstruction of a police officer. Next, we head across state lines to Volusia County, Florida, where two fleeing suspects found an interesting hiding spot to hide from police. The daring suspects took police through land, sky, and water after fleeing from deputies twice on June 6th. According to the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, the suspects took police on a chase with speeds up to 65 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. Want to see doing L cam on a white Nissan tag and say? Continuing south on Menace, Montecito. I'm shut down. I'm following at normal speed. Ted's going down a driveway. Hey, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out. Two black males, one wearing a black shirt, orange shirt, and another with a black sweater and shorts. Running westbound behind the house. I have charges 12F bailout. When the deputy exits his vehicle, the suspect's car is at a dead end, and the driver and one of the passengers took off, but a female passenger stayed behind. Show me your hands! Central, I got one at gunpoint behind the house. Show me your fing hands! No, come out! I can see you! Show me your hands! Get down to the ground! Get down to the ground! Central, I got a female gun uh, prone out. I have a male on the, oh, I believe, the west side of the house. It's the one two corner. Uh, I lost sight of him. Down here! Slow down, slow down, slow down. One person over there. I don't know. I, I lost sight of him. I got this. Just watch them. We'll wait for one more unit. Hold on, back up, back up, back up. Uh, Ma'am, crawl to me. Crawl to me. You got it? You got it. Just watch the car. I got it. Don't worry about it. Mail ran between the truck. Okay, I got it. I'm going to be as easy as I possibly can with you. I understand. I know. I know. I believe you. I believe you. I just. I have to secure you this way, okay? Can somebody help pick me up? Uh, I will pick you up. What's... Yes. Gun? Yep, right there in the center console. Uh, You'll see it plain as day. Yeah. Loaded. Then authorities searched through the wooded and swampy area to track down the driver and the other passenger. We need to take a quick break from this really wild story to give a quick thanks to our sponsors. If you know us at Long Crime, you also know our body cam videos can range from wild to crazy, sometimes even disturbing. And our video show, sometimes the world isn't always safe. So if you're ever heard, it can be confusing and scary, especially if you don't know where to turn. But there's a great team to help. And that's Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. With a team of over 1,000 lawyers, there's a reason they are the biggest and their winning proves it. Look, most of us, including myself, always have our phones on us. And with just a few clicks of a button, you could submit a claim and your injury could be worth millions. And you only have to pay them if you win. There's a $0 upfront fee. Plus, if you're injured, you never want to feel alone. Fighting big companies takes a big law firm. So with America's largest injury law firm, they'll be ready to take on insurance companies of every size. And Morgan & Morgan doesn't settle for lowball offers. So if you're injured, you can start by easily submitting a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash lcbodycam. Again, that website is www.forthepeople.com slash lcbodycam. And while the body of water seemed like a clever place to hide at first, the deputies plus the Florida wildlife officers were able to track down the driver and other passenger and brought them back to land. Walk out! Hey! Hey! Walk out towards the cars! 
Start laughing. Where's your partner? Push your partner. Start, start working. Hey, we're good. All right, any guns, any weapons? No, no, sir, no, sir. 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 Help us here. I'm just like, I'm moving back a little bit. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Get out! Get up now! Get up! Start walking towards us! Get up! Stand up! Start walking towards us! Stand up! Now! Do not stand up! You gotta help us get you in here, bud. There you go. Hold on, get him in more. I don't want him in the water if he's getting done. Slide in a little bit more, man. There you go, there you go. Come on over here. The passenger who stayed behind wasn't identified, but she was detained and later released without charges. The passenger who fled was identified as Edward Ross. He faces charges including obstruction, possession of marijuana, tampering with evidence, and was charged with violating his probation. So he was issued no bond. Meanwhile, the driver was identified as 23-year-old Highland Hill. He was booked on several charges, including driving with a suspended license, leaving the scene of a crash, fleeing from law enforcement, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and obstruction. Online records show he was released from custody on June 9th. Sheriff's Office canine, I see you! Come down and you're getting bit! Come down now, you're gonna get bit! Next, we head two hours south to Hillsborough County, where body cam captures a canine sniffing out a suspected car thief. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says on June 9th, they received a call about a stolen vehicle. The department says the suspect, who was identified as Johnton Leonard, was seen pulling into an apartment complex, then took off on foot when he saw deputies. The deputies, along with their canine, then searched for their suspect, whose hiding spot was found quickly. All right, dogs on the ground. All right, Robert, if you could see where I'm at right now, he jumped this wooden fence, continuing eastbound. Here. <laughs> Sheriff's Office K9, you need to come out now, you're going to get bit. Sheriff's Office K9, I see you. Come down or you're getting bit. Come down now, you're going to get bit. Leonard came out of the carport and was arrested. He was charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle and resisting an officer without violence. Yeah, so we got eyes on him. Yeah, he's trying to force open the sliding glass door on the second story. All right, he's jumping down now off of the uh, second story. And we're staying in Hillsborough County where deputies used air vision to track down a suspect seen jumping over apartment balconies to evade police. It happened on June 8th when deputies responded to a local apartment complex where someone was the victim of a battery. According to the sheriff's office, when the deputies arrived on scene, the victim said the suspect locked himself in the closet. When deputies searched the apartment, the suspect was nowhere to be seen. But after a short time, their aviation unit located 37-year-old Michael Noblock attempting to break into another home. The sheriff's office says Noblock is a known felon. And to hide from law enforcement, he decided to jump over the second balcony to try to escape. Yeah, so we got eyes on him. Yeah, he's trying to force open the sliding glass door on the second story. All right, he's jumping down now off of the uh, second story. Now he's, sorry, he's still up on the second story. He's walking across to another unit, just the unit to the left. Still on the second story. Uh, he's trying to crouch down uh, behind, looks like a, a sofa or something. He's laid out prone on his bed. Yeah, he's going to be that one y'all looking at right now. Straight ahead on the uh, second story. But after being surrounded, Noblock decided to jump down and he was arrested. Michael, get up. Get up. Turn over, roll on your back now. Roll on your stomach. Roll on your stomach. Over here. Over here. I'll, I'll guide you. I'll guide you. I wasn't trying to hurt. hurt. Get down. Two. Turn over. Get 
Turn around and put your hands on the wall. Turn the wall. around and put your hands on the wall. On the wall. Hands up on, on the, the wall. wall. No Block was cuffed and charged with one count of battery, one count of burglary, and one count of resisting an officer without violence. According to online records, a judge ordered for Michael Noblock to have no contact with the victim who he was reportedly dating for three years. Noblock was released from the Hillsborough County Jail on June 12th. Reporting for Law and Crime, I'm Elizabeth Milner.